Hello, and welcome to another episode of Games Reflect Dad. Now, this is a show where I talk about games that I've added to my collection, either through outright purchases or trades. I go through setup, I talk through gameplay, and I tell you who or what was the inspiration for me adding to the collection and why I like the game so much. Now, since we are approaching autumn, I thought it would be a perfect time to introduce you guys to Indian Summer. Now, this is a tile laying game where you are going to be placing Tetris style pieces on a game board, but let's just get it to the table and we'll check it out. Special Guest Star. Each player is going to start with a player board, and the object of the game is to completely cover this. This is the forest floor, and you can see there are six different sections on the board, and there's also some of these treasures. We have berries, we have nuts, we have mushrooms, and we have a feather. Now, these are all going to allow us to do special things, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to be placing these leaf tiles that you see that are around the main board there and they have holes in them and what we want to try to do when we place these on our board is to place it in such a way that we see that treasure coming through when we do that we're going to take one of the matching tokens we're going to place that on top of the board and then when we complete that quadrant then all of the treasure tokens that we have on there we're going to be able to retrieve off of there and then use them now i said the board is double-sided and each board has a number you can see this has five on this side and if i flip it over it has a five asterisk on there because there is a solo version of the game now we have a bunch of these leaf tokens and we're going to put those in the box and we've kind of shuffled those up and then we're going to start off and we're going to be placing those around these uh, common boards here this is called the common path we're each also going to start with two green two orange and one red leaf token and we're going to be placing those at the bottom of our player board next to our backpack uh, the order is only important when it comes to playing mushrooms uh, and uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. We're also each going to start with a treasure token for a nut, a mushroom, and a berry that we have available uh, right off the get-go. Once we have played all five tiles uh, from our player path to our board, then what we're going to do is we can refill, and we're going to refill from this common path. We're always going to start with the ones that are closest to this bush, and we'll go in order. Now, if we ever play a blueberry, we don't have to wait until we're done. We can refill back up to five. And if we already have five, then we can add a six. Now you can see on this board here, we have certain pieces that are not the uh, leaf tiles. These are animal tiles and they're all special uh, little things. We're gonna be placing those over uh, matching holes that match this entire shape. And we'll talk about that more as that happens. But uh, we only have one of this L, we have two of these uh, straight lines, we have uh, quite a few of these threes that are in a straight line, and then we have quite a few of the threes that are the 90 degree uh, angle there. We also have on this board, uh, we have a, uh, I guess that is a possum or a badger, um, and he's going to start with a leaf token, and if we play him, we're going to be able to get that token off of there. We also have a fox who has a nut. And then we have a uh, little raccoons that have a berry. And those three, like I said, each have a treasure token on those. When we take those and play those to our board, then we'll be getting those tokens as well. We have a supply of the treasure tokens. And then we also have these little one by one squares that are squirrels. And we'll talk about how those come into play. But I think that's pretty much set up. Mom, did I miss anything? I don't think so. All right, so let's get ready to play. I have the shoes, so I get to go first. The boots. The it boots. says the first, boots. yeah, the first player or the last player who walked through a forest actually gets those. Well, that wouldn't be me. No, but you're on your feet all day, so we'll let you start with a comfortable pair of boots. So basically what she's going to do, and 
we have either a uh, main action, you can take any special actions you want, and the special actions are with those treasure tokens, but she can take any one of the five uh, leaf tiles from her uh, player path and place those on her board. I'm trying to report a little bit like this. There we go. So I place mine and then I covered a blueberry, so I'm going to place a blueberry token on top of it. The only time that you actually refill from your player path is if you have played your last piece and then you'll grab five new pieces starting from where the bush is going clockwise. You can also play your blueberry token and you can refill up to five. And if you have five already, you can get a six, but you can never have more than six tiles here. And it doesn't matter where you place them on your board. Uh, and you can even cover up uh, tiles or treasure uh, spots on there as well. And you can flip your tiles any way you'd like, but once they're on your board, uh, they are there for good. So I'm gonna place that and I will get a nut. Are you done? Yep. Let me try and see how I place this one here. And I will get a nut. Let me go just place this one here. And if you place it so that the hole uh, doesn't cover any of the treasures, then you don't do anything. I'm going to go ahead and spend a blueberry and I'm going to take these first three tiles here. Refill the five. Just because I didn't really like my options that well. And I'm going to place that and put a berry into that. Sometimes I shift a little. And um, then I, I need You're to empty, yeah. yes, I need to refill, so I'll take five in the order that they are. And then this only refills when we're down to less than seven. And I will um, I'm done. I think I'll just stay. Okay. I'm gonna play a mushroom. And what the mushroom allows me to do in a two-player game is I get to take uh, her My tile piece? that is closest to your backpack, and I will also take the one that is closest to the bush, and I play those. That's an alternate main action, so I don't actually play any of mine down here. That's not a nice thing to do. I'm sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna place this here. But you have to be able to play both of them. Yes. Well, my board's wide open, okay, so. But I'm just saying, yeah. if by chance you did that and you couldn't play one of them, you'd be in trouble. I wouldn't be able to take, yeah, take it. Yeah. Uh, but that is going to complete this section, so I will get these two nuts and this blueberry. And then I gotta play this one. this one here like that and I'll place a nut over that okay you can also trade in if you've got a lot of any one you can trade in two berries for a nut two nuts for a mushroom and two mushrooms for a leaf you can also trade down so uh, a leaf could represent anything a mushroom could be either a nut or a berry and a nut could be a blueberry this here and get a mushroom and then I'm going to use my nut to get a squirrel to complete this so I get all these back off. Oh yeah. If you don't play any of your leaf 
tiles, then you can play one squirrel. However, if you trade in a nut, you can play uh, a squirrel uh, in addition to your other uh, leaf now, tiles. Since I played a nut, yep. can I do anything else before yep. my turn's over? Yep. Okay. You can, I since you already played um, a tile as your main thing, uh -huh. you can play any special ones. So that's your berries and your nuts. Okay. So your berries will allow you to refill, your nuts will allow you to play squirrels. My mushrooms don't do anything. Your mushroom is an alternate action, a main action, so you can't play it because you already played a leaf tile. Okay. I'm going to play another nut and take another little squirrel and put him right here. Okay, I'm finished now. Okay. I'll take this, place it up like that, and I'll get a nut. All right, I'm going to play this, get a nut, and my turn is done. Okay. I'm going to play this one and it covers a feather. And then I have three nuts, and I'm going to trade those three nuts in for three squirrels. I'm going to place it here, there, and here, which completes that section. So I would get a leaf, a berry, and the two nuts. And yes, I'm making a mess on my board here. And another shift. That is my turn. Okay. Then I'm going to play this here to get a mushroom. I'm going to play a blueberry and take some tiles. And then I'm going to play a feather, which allows me to play two of my tiles. So I'm going to play this one there. I get a mushroom for that. And I can't place that one there because that would actually stick out over the board, which would be an illegal placement and you can never also overlap any um I really wish I had a different configuration here but that doesn't really help me. Place this one like that. Now give me a mushroom on there. Oops. Up there. Yep. Okay. I'm going to play this one to get a blueberry, and I'm going to refill my five, one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five is all we have left. So since we have less than seven, we'll go ahead and just start randomly pulling out and refilling the pack. play blueberry and I'm going to take the next two tiles here because I want to place this there and put a mushroom there. off and you've got enough blueberries you could trade two blueberries in for a nut and get a squirrel uh, to fill that bottom part that was my plan and then get a squirrel to fill here and then I could take these that three out. off and then can't do anything else right because I don't unless I do something with these little dudes right your blueberries I, and yeah, your nuts. But yeah. I think I will wait. Okay.
I'm going to place this there, and then I'm going to play a nut to put down a squirrel, which will complete this quadrant here. This mushroom is actually on this one, but I'll get this mushroom. piece to put a nut and then I'm going to pull my one other nut to get a squirrel and I'm done okay oh I messed up my area I was gonna I was gonna put a thing there so I could grab one of those oh well uh I'm gonna play my mushroom I'm gonna take this and I'll take yours Take my what? Your little green next to your backpack. And I'm going to place this one here, which puts a nut on that. And then I'm going to place this one here, which puts a blueberry on that, which completes my middle section. So I'll get this mushroom, this nut, and this blueberry. You just hosed me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. And that's my chance. She did. Oh, and at any time during a free action, uh, if you do have uh, an opportunity to play any of the animals, you can. I just saw that I've got three here, so I can actually take this butterfly. And any of those that you're going to cover, you're going to be able to get those treasures. So since I'm going to be covering up a nut and a mushroom, I will get those as well and put my nice little butterflies right there. And that's only because it was a three holes in a row. Just don't know what to do here. Turn it the other way. Yeah, I can still get it that way. Yeah. Open. Still do it that way. I'll take a blueberry. And um, that's all I can do right now. Okay. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to place it there. That'll complete this section, so I will get that mushroom. And I think that's all I'm going to do. <clears throat> we have to refill. I need a little bush. Need one more. Oh one. yeah. Don't want to <clears throat> cheat myself. Yeah. Might need it. Might. Okay. Your turn. Mm-hmm. Um, I will go ahead and play this. There, and I will get a nut to cover that. I'll play this here, a little blueberry, and I think I am done. Okay, I'm gonna play a blueberry to refill. Four, five. Um, then I am going to play this piece there, which gives me a nut. Then I will use a nut to place a squirrel here. And that completes my board. So, now what all the other players can do is, based on their uh, uh, treasure tokens, they can basically convert those to nuts and try to fill their board. So two blueberries make a nut, but I don't think it's gonna matter. And then mushrooms don't do anything. Well, each mushroom can be a nut. Oh, so that would be three nuts. Yeah. I still don't think it's going to matter, but we will see here. And your nuts basically you are just gonna convert to squirrels. So that would be, um, five nuts or five squirrels and I have four or five so I have one two three four five which would complete that then I still have five other squares so it's not going to matter yeah. so 
So unfortunately I lost. Now, if you were able to, to complete your board, then the tiebreaker is the amount of treasure tokens that you have left. I might have been better off if somebody hadn't taken my one piece from me. Oh, I'm sorry. Because I had it all planned out to go there and you stole it. All right. So I guess I get the, what, the acorn trophy? I guess. Sure. You know, normally we uh, use more of these tiles. I only use one in this game. Um, but that's kind of how the random nature is because you've got to get those holes lined up, you know, just, you know, right in order to do that. The game that we played last night, I know I, I think I played this one and I might have played that one. I know I played several of these. But, you know, just kind of how the different games unfold. So now let's get to what we think. Now, I've played this game quite a bit. I bought this game several years ago, um, mainly because I like tile laying games. I like the Tetris style, you know, trying to fit things in like a puzzle. And I love the, the fall theme. This is one of my top fall games that I like to play uh, in the fall of every year. Um, so I've, I really enjoy the gameplay. It's pretty simplistic. Uh, like I said, it's, it's got that puzzle aspect. And it is a race, basically, to, to cover your board, kind of like bingo. You like bingo. I like to win money. <laughs> so you've played this now three times. What do you think of it? I've won twice. You did. But, um, I, I mean, I think it's fine. I like Tetris, so I enjoy that part of it. Um, I wish the backpacks were different colors, so not everybody had the same color backpack. Like back to school, you know, different ones? Yeah, I want like pink, blue, green. I don't know, something different. Other than that, I'm just griping. I don't know. Other than that, I think it's fine. I just would like a little bit more bling to it. Yeah, that would be, you know, kind of cool because, you know, a lot of people like player colors. Yeah. There's really no reason to have any player colors here. But... So, that's the only thing. Other than that, it's fine. I mean, the pieces are nice. They're heavy. They're not going to bend. Yeah, these are nice, thick uh, cardboard. Yeah. So. And on the back of your uh, backpack is a little player aid that tells you what each one of the treasure tokens does. So, that's kind of a nice. And they're on uh, here, too. They'll explain a little bit. Yeah, it uh, talks about the exchange. Them. Yeah. Yeah, so but, I think it's fine. I think it's a quick, I mean, they don't take very long to play. No, this is what Banked would call a cozy game because, you know, you don't even need to talk a lot. You know, you just kind of, you know, sit, you have your, well, in Megan's case, she'd have tea uh, or, you know, you could sip your beverage, uh, have some pretzels, you know, whatever. Yeah, but it gets, I can see more people playing how it could get more complicated as far as taking players' uh, pieces. Oh, definitely. That would give you more options to steal people's and screw up their boards like you did me. Yeah, because when you play that mushroom, when, when you have more than two players, you're going to take that closest piece to the backpack from two different players instead of having uh, taking one from the common board or the common area there. So that could get tricky. Yeah. Plus, this is going to change a lot um, with more players because you're going to be taking more of those off. That's true. So I think uh, with more than two players... You know, when to play that berry is going to be a lot more strategic because if there is a piece that you want, you've got to really kind of time that to where you can get that. Uh, otherwise, you may not see that piece again. But there are several uh, copies of each piece, and some of them, like, you know, will have holes in different areas. Mm -hmm. So you can see these two are the same, but the holes are different. Um, I think all of the... Green ones are about the same. Eh, they might be a little different. So if I had they played my three here at the end and taken this net off, could then I have traded it in for another squirrel? So, I so yes, have, you can. I could have you redeemed yeah. this little guy, so then I'd only be four short instead of five. Yeah. Whoopee. Okay. And they say that that's how you determine <laughs> your ranking is how many empty spaces you still have on your, uh, on your board. Or if I had put, turned him into... No, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. And I could have put him here and claimed these. Hey, wait a minute. If I had done this and claimed these, then I would have got one more nut, which made me... No, I'm still short. <laughs> Doesn't matter how I do it, I'm still short. Okay. Yeah, it's a racing puzzle game. But, just trying to see how I could have won. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, I like the theme. I like the playing. Uh, I like the fact that it's, you know, kind of a, a chill game. 
or a cozy game like Megan says. Um, and I like the puzzly aspect it's of it. It's not hard to explain either. No, and you picked it up right away. So. Oh, well, thanks. But it's no, hard. I don't mean that, but I'm just saying <laughs> you're not a gamer. Um, and as a non-gamer, you know, you had no problems, you know, picking this up and winning the first two games you played. Yes. It was fine. It was, yeah, it was very easy to learn. So now let's talk about my inspiration for adding this to my collection. So I bought this outright, and the reason why I did, again, uh, like I said, I love the fall theme. I love the puzzly aspect. Um, I don't remember how I learned about the game originally. Um, it could have been because this is part of the collection of, was it Spring, spring Garden and Summer Meadow, whatever, um, that my buddy Hefe had uh, one of those. And I really like the theme of this one better. So that was kind of why I went after this one. Are there other versions? Yes. Spring, summer, fall? I mean, there is. There's there's not a winter one, though. Oh, that would be cool. That could be like Elsa. But there's not a winter one. We should design that. That would be cool. All right. So that is Indian Summer, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, click that like and subscribe button. You can also follow us on social media like Facebook. And Twitter at DadBDaughter. And if you like what we do and you want to support us, you can visit our Patreon page. So thanks for watching. Thanks.